Pop art is an art movement that emerged in the 1950s and reached its peak of activity in the 60s. The choice of subject matter was everyday images, um, images that were iconic in American life, such as comic strips, billboards, commercial products, and celebrity images. Although in class yesterday we discussed this in greater depth, I'm using this tutorial to um, help guide you to the art project that, project that we will be doing. Though I introduced you to many pop artists yesterday in class, today in this tutorial we will focus on two, the first being Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein. Let's begin now. Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol was an American artist born in my hometown, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was truly the leading figure of the pop art movement here in the United States. Andy Warhol did many famous celebrity faces as you see here, making them um, even more iconic than they were in real life, made them actually bigger than life. He also took everyday images that we saw in our kitchen and forced us to look at them in ways that we never thought of, causing us to see images as art instead of just consumer products. He believed that everything was art. Now let's look at the artwork of Roy Lichtenstein, another leading figure in the American pop art movement. Lichtenstein favored comic strips as his main source of inspiration. And as you see here, he caused the society at the time to look at everyday comic books in a different light as well, putting them on canvas and then putting them into the museum type atmosphere caused people to actually see the art in the common iconic comic strips. So the art lesson that we will be doing in class is a combination of, of either artist. You can be inspired by the artwork of Andy Warhol and do a product-based piece of work such as, um, as you can see here, candy skittles or, or just consumer products that you see every day. Oftentimes in the past my students have chosen candy because it's sort of very graphic, colorful, and very pop artish. However, you could also go with the inspiration of the artwork of Roy Lichtenstein and reproduce his comics or create a comic of your own in the style of pop art. Pop art is simple, flat, graphic, and very much primary colors. Keep it simple and very graphic and um, like an advertisement. I think you guys are going to do great on this lesson. We will discuss it more in class. Your supplies will be out on the tables, and I can't wait to see what you all come up with. Good luck.